Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Luxury Podcast, your source for all things luxury and lifestyle. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so I have Lara Hotteiser on the line, and she's founder of, and of Flow and Grow Kids Yoga. Lara, welcome to the show. Hi. Thank you, Adam. Thank you for having me. So uh, excited to get into today's topic. So we're going to talk more about your registered children's yoga school um, program. But before we do that, let's get a little bit further into what you're doing over at Flow and Grow Kids Yoga. Tell us a little bit more about your company, please. Sure. Thank you so much. So it's a great moment to be asking this because one of our main services is school programming. Um, we do we send instructors to do yoga and mindfulness over to lots of schools in Massachusetts and New York and New Jersey. Um, camps and things like that. But of course, the world is kind of on pause with the pandemic. So it's been interesting serving some of those people online. And we've got some big partnerships to be doing um, more kind of widespread pu um, public classes online. So that's part of what we do. Um, another big part is we create content for kids yoga teachers. So there's like lesson plans and comprehensive curriculum and yoga cards and games. Um, and like yoga books for kids and all that kind of stuff. So that is a big part of what we do. And then we are also a teacher training um, wing where we do professional development training for educators in schools or, you know, like clinical um, people. We do lots of like work with therapists and counselors. And then we have the professional track where we help people become certified in teaching ch children's yoga and mindfulness. Um, so it's like a, a little bit of everything. I love it. I mean, and you're you're really helping from every different angle there for people that want to get involved in many different ways. And I think that's a great uh, transition to today's topic. So let's get into uh, Register Children's Yoga School. I know you have some news and some announcements. Yeah, so it's been a long time coming. We recently became a registered children's yoga school. So now Congratulations, offering, by the way. Congratulations. You. That's not easy. You don't just like it put is, your name in the hat for that. That's a lot of work. <laughs> It was a big progression. Um, we had been offering weekend courses to certify kind of a crash course in the foundations of children's yoga. But um, finally, now I've written 11 modules. Um, every topic is really specific so that, you know, you learn how to work in schools. You learn how to do mindfulness in schools. You learn how to work with teenagers. You learn how to do business. You learn. So it's really kind of topical for um, coming at it from an angle where we want people to really learn specific sections of, you know, like, like to really zoom in on different areas of, of the mm -hmm. field. So we've got a new anatomy and physiology course launching, you know, and so all of these little courses make up the 95 and people can take part of it if they need to brush up or they can take the whole thing to get on a professional track. So we've got one underway and then the next one is coming up starting J July 7th. So we're actually expecting a pretty full house and um, there's so much interaction and, the, you know, the students have been absolutely amazing and sending love notes every day. And I thought, well, how is this going to translate online? But it truly is such a transformational program and watching the video submissions of the students and seeing how much they're taking from it and how much they're growing. And I'm just astounded by the people that are going to go out in the world and absolutely change it. Wow, that's absolutely amazing. I love it. And um, so for some, there's a lot of different people listening. So um, people from the school side, the administration side, there's people obviously with children that are thinking about, um, about um, oh, they never, maybe never thought about um, children's yoga or what that looks like. So tell us a little bit more about kind of just your personal experience working in this field for so long and what it's meant for you and for your clients. Thank you for the question. So it's such a broad stroke because truly like so I'm an early childhood specialist so what I do is so different than what somebody might do working in a high school um, so mainly what I do is work with very young children to help um, gain some social emotional learning tools so that's kind of like when my face looks like this what feeling is associated with that and then what can I do what yoga tools can I use to you know calm down when I'm angry and or just to have awareness so that's a big part of it is, is teaching awareness. And we work with older kids. It's much more about self-inquiry and thinking about hypothetical situations. Well, if this were to happen, what would I do? 
So yoga is not just a, a movement specialty. It's really it's an eight limb tree, if you could picture that. And so part of what we're doing is also teaching children yoga philosophy. So how to think about situations, um, you know, through the lens of honesty and non-harming others. And um, so it's really great because it's not just showing up and being like, can you touch your toes? It's really like, how do you become a person in the world? And as children grow, we approach that very differently. So, um, you know, parents are oftentimes coming and learning just as much as teachers with us. And um, I think it's because we're trying and then we see like the whole world trying to become less busy and less anxious. So, you know, whether you're a teacher or a parent or somebody that works with children in another way, these skills have been helpful across many different fields. And so people who, a lot of people have come on the professional course who won't even do this for work or don't expect to. But then they mm-hmm. find out, oh, my gosh, this is my passion. So um, you really see wow. households change, like, you know, morning routines and bedtime routines change because we're so conscious about how we're using our five senses and our attention. You know, is it the best thing to put on a family movie tonight or might it be better to dim the lights, put on cozy clothes and roll out the mats and just take a couple moments to breathe and slow down? So these are the types of things we would like to help people learn to think about and make choices to create lifelong healthy habits. So that's, that's really the approach and what we hope. And um, because so many amazing people have worked with Flow and Grow and for Flow and Grow, it's amazing because we've worked in, you know, centers where we focus on children with autism or, you know, each specific environment has a different specialty teacher because really it's about making sure we're meeting each individual needs. I think that's a big focus too is, you can't do the same type of learning and educating for every person. So really getting into who those relationships are with and connecting with those people in a way that makes sense for them. Wow, I love it. And the way you describe it, I'm sitting here thinking, and I'm like, man, I need this. Forget the kids. I'm over here thinking the way I'm like, Laura said, when I get angry, what yoga tools can I use? But I don't have any oh yoga tools. What do I do? <laughs> So true. Actually, I have a mother joining this July cohort who <laughs> never wants to work in kids yoga, but she said she would never do something just for herself as a mother of four and a homeschool parent. <clears throat> she says all of the courses she's taken online with me in the past, she just mm-hmm. took them really truly and felt like it was her personal transformation program. So it is true that we're our end target is children, but it is through the transformation of the teacher or the parent that that happens. So it is not just about how to work with kids. It's truly about our own practices and developing those too. So it is exactly what you're saying. So many people have these awakenings, like, you know, not to get with you, but I just get so many personal messages and like truly love letters from people whose lives are changing. And Um, this has been my wake up call because I always said, Hey, doing this online will be watered down, but I have never, ever heard more of a response from the people I'm supporting than now. So it it truly is the moment. It's just, this is, this is the time people need it. I love it. That's amazing. So Laura, um, final question. So two part question. So a lot of people listening right now that are going to want information on both the, um, on on the, um, online program, but also in just to connect and see what you do overall and follow some of the content that you create. Um, um, first off, what's the right, um, what are the ways for them to reach out? Number one and number two, what are typically the right types of fits to work with you and your team? Sure. So to find us, the website is flowandgrowkidsyoga.com. If you just click on the contact there, you can email me directly. I will be the direct person to respond to you. Um, we've got a YouTube channel also on under Flow and Grow Kids Yoga. We've got Instagram. If you like some visuals, we've got a lot of cool visuals on Instagram. It's at Flow and Grow Kids. Um, you, on our Facebook community is very strong. We put tons of tips and things in there, so that's a great way to follow us. Um, but really anywhere on, on the social channels, our Pinterest is extremely popular. We get thousands of views a day on there. So if you're someone who's more visual and looking for more ideas, so we tr- really try to be everywhere. Um, and if you're interested in the course, you just go over to the website and you can click on the tab that says 95 hour RCYT and that's the registered children's yoga teacher course. And you can take any course with us. 
Um, you do not need prerequisites. So like Adam, you don't have, you say you don't have the yoga tools. As long as you're willing to develop a personal practice, we'll take anybody that has or loves children because this becomes a catalyst. So so many people who work with me and then they go out and they end up studying yoga formally um, under like, you know, supposedly adult yoga. But I will say that they're, they really don't need to be that separate. Um, so people end up going off and, and studying for a lifetime. Um, <laughs> you so, said adult yoga. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, you know, the regular yoga. Um, yes, yeah, so and if any, you know, truly anybody who is touched. So, like, we have worked with so many school administrators. Like, today, in a little while, I'm working with a school district that I have done training for. And, you know, we've sent teachers in to do their after school. And I've trained several other staff members. And now they're just working with us for mindfulness. So, we, we do, you know, schools and corporate for that. We can do anything online. We're highly incentivizing people to do online with us over in person because we want to keep people safe. So get in touch with us about you know teaching online. I've got amazing instructors in different um, time zones now. So if you live somewhere not near New York City, no problem. We can truly help you. Um, we've been really refining the process of how to connect online. And if you are curious about learning more about how to teach um I've got a lot of free videos on my YouTube, just like how to teach engaging classes. And you'll hear, I, I bring in masterminds, so it's just a collective of people doing it. So if you want wisdom, there's lots of free information on my YouTube, um, just Flow and Grow Kids Yoga. So that's like kind of the roundabout, um, but anyone should reach out that's, that's curious. And we've got stuff on the website for free. We've got things that literally cost a dollar, all the way up to completely comprehensive lesson plan units. Um, that no matter what age you're working with, you'll find something there. We've really, truly tried to make something for every type of child and every type of learner. That's awesome. That's so fun. Um, well, really appreciate you uh, coming on the show today, Lara, and uh, sharing more about your background, and all the great thing you're doing, great things you're doing out there to help our kids and uh, parents too, and administrators of schools all around, and just spreading the mindfulness and practice of yoga. So amazing stuff there. Um, and to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes Store, and if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Luxury. Definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments on the video. Love to know what kind of things you're working on and what you have going on in your world. And, uh, Lara, thanks again for coming on the show. Thanks so much, Adam. Take great care.